And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the big reveal of the 2021-2022 First Tech Challenge game, Freight Frenzy, presented by Raytheon Technologies. Welcome to First Tech Challenge 2021-2022 Season Game, Freight Frenzy, presented by Raytheon Technologies. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a coach, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool but may expand after the match begins. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your opponent for one match may be your partner for another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. In the back of the field are taped off warehouses, which are alliance neutral. Obstructing the warehouses are barriers that robots must drive over or around. At the front of the field are Alliance-specific storage units. Alliance-specific carousels are mounted on the front corners of the field walls. Alliance-specific barcode tape is located between the warehouses and the storage units. Four unique navigation images are located around the field perimeter, two Alliance-specific shipping hubs, and a third shared shipping hub are positioned as shown. Outside of the field walls are the red and blue Alliance stations. There are two types of freight. 20 pieces of cargo, 2.7 inches in diameter, and 2-inch square boxes in various weights. 30 lightweight, 20 medium, and 10 heavy boxes. Four of the lightweight boxes are marked with an X. In addition, rubber ducks will play a key role in the game, and teams will be constructing their own custom-designed shipping elements. Before each match, the freight is stored in the warehouses and a preload box is placed onto the field for each robot. A duck is placed onto each carousel and in the middle position of each barcode. The remaining ducks are stored in the Alliance loading docks. Teams then place their robots on the field, touching the wall adjacent to their Alliance station, but not in a warehouse. The teams then place one preload box for each robot. A team may then decide to use their own shipping element in place of a duck on the barcode, or store their shipping element in the loading dock. The duck or shipping element on the barcode is then randomized to one of three locations. The players and field are now ready. Each match begins with a 30-second autonomous period. During this period, there are a number of ways for teams to score, using only pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Delivering the duck from the carousel earns 10 points. Each piece of freight delivered to the Alliance's storage unit will earn two points. Each preloaded box placed on an Alliance's shipping hub earns six points, but there are ways to earn bonus points. If the box is placed on the correct level as indicated by the duck's location on the barcode, the Alliance earns a 10-point bonus. If a robot places its preload box on the level shown by its Alliance's shipping element position on the barcode, it will earn a 20-point bonus. 
A robot parked on its Alliance's storage unit earns three points. However, if the robot is parked completely in the storage unit, it will earn six points. A robot parked in the warehouse closest to its Alliance station earns five points. If the robot is completely inside the warehouse, it will earn 10 points. Following the autonomous period is the two-minute driver-controlled period. During this time, alliances score points by delivering freight to storage units and shipping hubs. For example, each piece of freight delivered to an alliance's storage unit will earn one point. Freight scored on an alliance's shipping hub will earn two points on a level one, four points on a level two, and six points on level three. Each freight scored on the alliance's side of the shared shipping hub will score four points for their alliance. The last 30 seconds of the driver control period is the end game. Robots may continue scoring freight, and there are also ways to earn bonus points. Delivering a duck or shipping element to the floor earns the alliance six points. A balanced shipping hub at the end of the match earns 10 points. If an alliance's section of the shared shipping hub is in contact with the tile floor, that alliance earns 20 points. Robots parked in a warehouse earn three points. However, if the robot is parked completely in the warehouse, it earns six points. Each team's shipping element, fully supported by a shipping hub center pole or another team's capped shipping element, will earn 15 points. There are many ways to score in Freight Frenzy, but there are also rules that if not followed will deduct points from your alliance. For example, robots cannot interfere or interact with the opposing alliance shipping hub. Scoring elements may not be launched. Robots may not interfere with their opposing alliance's capping attempts. Only one duck or team shipping element is allowed on the carousel at a time. A robot may not cause an opposing alliance robot to become pinned, trapped, or blocked. This is just a brief summary of the Freight Frenzy game. For complete rules, please read the game manual and check the Q&A forum. And always remember the most important rule of First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck teams and have a great season.